Hey YouTube, how you doing? This is uh, Real Talk, and um, I wanted to check into this. Uh, <laughs> I wanted to uh, check into this phenomenon where apparently uh, all men in Hollywood have to dress up like women. Not all black men, all men. So we're gonna take a look at <laughs> these dudes basically being forced. Well, not forced, but anyway, let's get started. This was back in the day. This is uh, Flip Wilson. And he had this character on his Flip Wilson show, Geraldine. So back in those days, this would have been mid-60s. Uh, uh, I remember this show when I was a kid. Yeah, I caught it on reruns or whatever, but, um, yeah, in those days, it was more, you know, you know, racially orientated, you know, it was hard, you know, I guess, but, so I guess he was doing, or he thought he was doing the right thing, but ultimately, he didn't, he's just another man wearing a dress for some bogus laughs, um, they say this is Tracy Morgan. It kind of looks like uh, that Vato from In Living Color. <laughs> uh, Alan Greer. What's his face? But anyway, uh, apparently, this is the ritual of what they need to do in order to get in. This is just one of the satanic rituals that they must do in the public. This is their... It's like a, pro a proving ground. It's kind of similar to the to the hazing and, and all that junk when you go to the fraternities, you know, in college. You know, when you're trying to get into Kappa Phi Gamma, Gamma, Lada, Lambda, whatever, those fraternities, sororities, the same for the women. And they put you through all this hazing and you got to obey. I mean, it's clear. I've never been to those, but it's clear, like, uh, I watched that fictional college, the one that was a spin-off of Cosby, Different World, and then they had a couple of shows where they were trying to get into the fraternities and blah, blah, blah. So this is just a big Hollywood fraternity, and this is just one of the things that, that it seems like um, all that they have to do. <clears throat> well, it wasn't a surprise that being Rames... <laughs> I mean, this Vato right here, man, like, wow. <laughs> I don't think he wants to do this, but he did want to get paid. But, I mean, it wasn't a surprise that this Vato was going to throw on the dress since they bagged him. <laughs> since they bagged him in Pulp Fiction. And it was a white Vato doing the banging. I mean, that was, like, humiliating, but, hey. You know, it's a job, right? I mean, you gotta, you know, you gotta eat. <laughs> you gotta eat, I guess, right, Greg? <laughs> Sorry about that. I don't mean to laugh at you, but dang, man. Have some dignity, man. <laughs> Mikey J. Fox. This poor Vato right here. This was, would have been the third. This is the second Back to the Future movie. And... As we can see, what developed after after that is he got I think what was his disease? It's uh he had uh, he had like that nervous disease. What's it called? Uh, not cerebral palsy, but the other one. Uh, see, it usually <laughs> you know God works in mysterious ways. You know you're you're an abomination to God, so you kind of bring in curses upon yourself. Um, he had, he had, uh, I don't know, he had one of those diseases, uh, I forget which one it is, but it, it really took its toll on this guy, because he went to being like real nervous, and he couldn't, he couldn't, couldn't hang, he had um, like, um, involuntary muscle spasms, and it was just not good. Uh, well, here goes Mr. Robin, Mr. Mrs. <laughs> Robin Williams, well, this dude was weird from the beginning. I mean, 
even with in the Mark and Mindy series when he first came out, you know, he was all crazy and all, you know, full of life and trying to show off his talents or what have you. Only to find out that he was just getting pimped. They were just gonna they were just they saw God's talent in him and he was dying to get in there. Look, look what I can do. Uh huh. So the Vatos in the in the shadow government the Illuminati dudes in the back were telling the the Hollywood exec Vatos, okay, check him out, blah blah blah. Let him know what time it is. And needless to say he played ball. And we all heard what happened. They clipped him. Well, Robin, I hope you uh no offense, but uh I don't know, man. You kind of burning up right about now I would think since uh, I don't know if you repented I doubt it that you did but you didn't repent to God sorry bro Vin Diesel now what would a vato all strong all sassy <laughs> vato all strong and sassy for the women I mean <laughs> what's he doing wearing a dress <laughs> You're just going to support that like it's the thing to do, right, Vin Diesel? <laughs> Europe Music Awards, MTV. Okay, so, yeah, Europe. I was in Europe. There are a lot of flaming. There's a lot of flaming vatos over there in Europe. They're kind of famous for that over there. Um, um, oh, wow. Hang on one sec. Now I, now that I make these noises, I have to get this to work. Otherwise, it's going to... Excuse me for a minute. This thing's going to start making noise. <laughs> you might hear some clicking in the background because i got to mute my speaker. Okay. There's a multitude of them. Okay, well, who do we got here? We got Medea. We got uh, Wesley Snipes. We got Martin Lawrence, who's not a big, well, two Martin Lawrences, and the other dude for his show. We got the Wayans Brothers, Jamie Foxx, he, he he sold out right away. Kevin Hart sold out right away. Wayans Brothers, they sold out right away. Eddie Murphy on the corner, Eddie Murphy on the other corner, looks like. So, I mean... And it's just the ritual that they have to go through. Yeah, they got money, and they got fame, and they wear nice clothes, and got pretty teeth, and you got everything that supposedly all the world wants, but at what price? They're, they're parading around as flaming, flaming. I'm not going to use that word. And look at Mr. Tom Hanks, you know, funny man, Tom Hanks. You know, he had a show in the 80s. It lasted about a season and a half with him and uh, his homeboy. What's his face? Peter Scolari, I think it is. Uh, got to dress up like chicks to get into this hotel. That whole that whole scenario plot was just retarded. That's why, it, you know, it's just it's ridiculous. But, but, hey, he wanted in. So this is what he had. This was his initiation to get in. It seemed like... You know, these these are things that you have to do in order to belong into their little club there. You know, their little satanic, perverted, stanky club in there. <laughs> like P. Diddy and these Vatos and Kanye, were they really like, what's up? How you doing? Whoa, what happened? Like, you trying to make it cool? Really, man? Look at the dude with the hand. I forget what that dude. Epps. It's a little more Epps, I think. You got this boy like, yeah, what's up? <laughs> you look ridiculous, Bato. <laughs> you look ridiculous, man. Come on. I mean, if you had a pair of balls around there, and they, they done snipped them off, man. Look at you. Wearing a dress, man. What the heck's wrong with you guys, man? Serious? Really? Wow. Kanye lost his mom to go wear this dress. So you so you went and sacrificed your mom to wear a dress. 
Well, what was P, uh, P. Diddy was Biggie, Biggie Smalls, I think. He's, that's the one he sacrificed to wear his dress. So, okay, so now we got a blood sacrifice. Someone had to die in your family to jump you into the gang. Because that's what it is. It's a satanic gang of witches. And now you they got you wearing dresses, you know. You might not want to, but eventually you're going to come out flaming, flaming homos. Flaming. Matt Damon, look at you, man. What is that? That is like, ugh. <laughs> ugh. <laughs> look at Cuba Gooding Jr., man. He was all whored in, in, in Boys in the Hood, only to come out here with his diaper on. <laughs> his diaper. And his hooker boots. <laughs> <laughs> so you gonna wear your diaper and hooker boots to Cuba? Dang, man. Terrible. Damn, they even got Clint Eastwood, man. Look at you. Look like an old grandma, Clint. Man, I had so much respect for you. Bought those with your... <laughs> with your dirty, hairy line. Go ahead, make my day. Yeah, they made your day all right. <laughs> they got you dressed up like granny, man. Come on, man. Wow. See? So that just goes to tell you, like a strong, hardcore vato, Clint Eastwood style. They even got him in a dress, man. What a shame. Kevin Hart, man, uh, that dude, yeah, he's just a flaming dude anyway, I, I ain't got nothing to say about that dude, he's, I kind of knew that already, that dude was soft, Samuel L. Jackson, <laughs> yeah, I kind of knew you, you was flaming when you got that Star Wars gig, I heard the rumors about how you had to go sleeping, you know, that everybody had to do their homosexuality from George Lucas or whatever, you know. You're already part of the gang, so this pink or purple or whatever color hair you got on there, that doesn't surprise me. Uh, the Rock. What is that, man? And it's for kids. Dwayne Johnson dressed as Miley Cyrus for Nickelodeon's Kid Choice Award. So they're, they're showing kids that, yeah, it's cool. Yeah, be a homo. Be a transgender. You can do whatever you want. No, you can do whatever you want. I mean, that is just disgusting, man. But see how, see how they're just, they're just brainwashing America. They're, they're just telling all the kids that it's all right. And notice how they're always going after our children after after the little ones so that's the real art the target is is the little ones because that's going to be the nation of tomorrow you know you have to pre we have to protect our little ones you know we got to do these videos to expose to the little ones that this is not cool and we got to got to give them the bible scriptures tell them hey man this is not cool you know <clears throat> adam sandler I think this is for the Jack and Jill movie. Yeah, I kind of knew that he was soft. It's just about to, that doesn't surprise me that they got him dressing up like, wow, look at that. Crazy, man. That dude was a flaming homo boy right from the gate. So it does not surprise me that this dude, I mean, Medea, and he just talking all with the head moving around like a black woman. Blah, blah, blah. My dear. But why is it that they all ha haven't addressed this way? Well, they got even Mr. California Governor dressing like a woman. So now we know that, that, that there's a Satanism in the governor's office, right, Jerry? And you guys think that, you know, that people are dumb and that you're just going to put all this satanic junk in our face and then we're just not going to know that's what you guys are doing? You know? <laughs> so who are you serve, serving, Jerry? Are you serving Satan or are you serving God? Well, ultimately, you're serving God because God is not going to have you not serve him. That's 
You ain't got a choice in that matter. Because our God, called Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit, and Almighty Father, God, could, they own your God, called Satan. Unfortunately, you and this about the right here called Arnold Schwarzenegger were in that were in that governor's office tearing tearing up California. But anyway, sold an off you selling off uh, land <laughs> important landmarks that had been in California forever, billions and billions of dollars, and put his, put the California in debt and droughts and dirty mothers. Here comes La Bouffe, La Boff, whatever his face is. And that's why, he, this is probably why he's just wigging out. He's like, I don't want to be a woman. You got to be a woman. This is part of your ritual. You signed on. You know, when you signed that contract, you are a slave. But I don't want to be your slave. I'm not, a, I'm not a star anymore. It doesn't matter what bags you put on your head. You're going to be our slave or we're going to kill you. That's probably why this Vata flipped out. Because once you get in there, you ain't getting out. You know, I mean, maybe you could, but I'll be honest with you, stars. You know, if anybody ever comes across this video, I'll be honest with you. I'm going to talk to you, talk to you direct of all these stars I'm talking about. If y'all want to get out, you can. Because it's impossible for you to sell your soul to Satan. He's lying to you, man. But it's going to cost you your life. It's going to cost you your life. I'm going to tell you that right now. You can get out, but be prepared to die. You know, so, but here's the, here's, here's the plus side to the death. Okay. If you die with the sin and all the abominations you've done toward God, then you're going to burn. You are, we are, are going to burn. But if you try to accept Jesus Christ right now and repent of all your sins and just, just, hey, just keep it pushing. Just drop all that junk and just keep it pushing. I mean, they're going to eventually catch up with you and take you out because this web of evilness is everywhere. They got they got minions everywhere. I mean, you're dealing with satanic forces and supernatural forces, so it's, there's no place that you can go that they're not going to find you. However, the Holy Spirit is more powerful than them supernatural satanic forces that are out there. And honestly, they can't protect you, but you got to have faith rock hard faith and I don't think in your present condition that is the case because you've already made a major major mistake by even getting in, uh, into a contract with the devil in the first place but y'all can get out but it's, it's just going to cost you your life if you die for Je Jesus you have a shot at the tree of life <clears throat> who are these four bottles okay we got I don't even know who the dude is in the middle we got Medea, Dustin Hoffman Looks like uh, Patrick Swayze on the top, top left, and obviously Johnny Depp on the bottom right. Don't know who who it is in the center, but look at that, you know. And and it seems like they always are are, you know, Dustin Hoffman. That was eighties, eighties, nineties, late eighties. You see, you saw what happened to Patrick Swayze. He shriveled up and just just blew away. Poor dude. And I'm, I'm wondering what really happened to these. I mean, according to the Bible, they're burning right now. The, Patrick Swayze is burning. You know, he tried to go looking for, I'm going to look for the truth. And I thought I was in the Buddha and to Jesus. And no, you can't go into Buddha and Jesus. Jesus, period. That's it. There, there is no other. Jesus Christ. That was the one that she should have stuck with. But I don't know what ultimately happened because I wasn't there. I don't have first-hand knowledge. So I'm not going to say nothing, but. May God rest your soul, Patrick Swayze, if that's you in the corner. Let me in. This Vato's been trying to get out since... <laughs> this Vato's been trying to get out since he got in. <laughs> he even said it in a song that he, I knew it was like this. And I would have never would have rapped. They done took my soul and I'll never get it back. <laughs> or something to that effect. So this Vato is just making all the morbid, sickly, satanic songs, and he, he, they just, I don't know. But here he is, dressed up as a female, and eh, what a shame. 
Okay, here are all the the dudes that they they. This is twenty eight people that they got put together that had to dress up for roles. On the left, I have no idea who that is. I forget who that is. Here we go. There goes Eddie Murphy. They got uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, dude that came out in Sean Penn. That other dude on the bottom, I don't remember who his name is, but he turned turned out to be a chick. Don't know that dude. <laughs> don't know this. Is that a dude or a woman? I guess it's a dude. That dude, look, that dude looks like that old dude. There's a couple of old dudes in here that I don't, I don't even know who they are. Oh, on the bottom here, it's a, it's going to be... Who are these guys? You got Tony Curtis and... Uh, Wow, they even got Tony Curtis. Wow, <laughs> look like Tony Curtis and uh, uh, Walter Matthau. Up top, we see Robin Williams, Patrick Swayze, Povato. See these two. Look, look who's dead already in this in this lineup. Robin Williams, Patrick Swayze. Uh, and then we got Tom Hanks, Flaming. You know, look 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 at uh. Russell, Kurt Russell, and we got Michael J. Fox, Martin Lawrence. They were he, they were chasing them, talking about they're trying to kill me. So you know he won out. He can't he can't he can't handle it. I mean they got into this satanic mess. They couldn't handle it. So actually Patrick Swayze and Robin Williams, they, they to in a degree they kind of got out of it. But but where is their soul at? I mean are they burning in hell or what's really going on? I don't know. The dude in the blue dress, I have no no idea. And then we have uh, Woody Harrelson on the corner there on the bottom right. Don't know that about. I think his name is Jude Law on the top left. Don't know. I don't know who the ones up under him. Dustin Hoffman, Johnny Depp, again with the girl outfit. Look at John Travolta, man. Then see, and it's funny how they come in to dress for these roles because it's supposed to be funny. Oh, it's just a joke. Oh, it, it's for laughs and blah blah blah. And the next thing you know, they come out as they're gay, they're homos, they're coming out public kissing dudes for reals. So is it a joke? Is is it funny? Is it just for laughs? No, it isn't. It's real. Look at George Clooney. Flaming, and then I saw the thing where he married the other transgender dude that was trying to act like a woman. Duchovny. David Duchovny. And the dude on the bottom, I don't even know who that bot was. I don't really care. Uh, the dude from uh, Ian, what's his face from the. That's the. The X Men bot, the Magneto bot. But, you know, here we know that dude's flaming, so that's not a big deal. The dude all right underneath, I don't know his name, but he was from the, uh, what was it, the Wolverine? It was the brother of Wolverine. They got him all. <laughs> and then the British about the well, they kind of get down like that in Britain, so that's not a, that's not a big, that's not a big uh, surprise. Home on the, on the, on the, Far right, I don't know, but he just looks hideous either way. <laughs> he looks hideous either way. I'm sorry we're talking crap about all these people, and I'm not supposed to do that. I'm supposed to do stuff in love. But you know what? I'm pretty disgusted with this whole thing, so I apologize. But Okay, <clears throat> Deuteronomy 2, 22 and 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. For all that do so are abominations unto the Lord thy God. That's pretty clear. An abomination is pretty bad. So it clearly states here that you're not supposed to be doing that. Which which brings brings me to another thing, you know, because a lot of people like to say, oh, oh, we don't have to follow the, the Old Testament because, you know, when Jesus came, it overruled. No, it didn't. 
Apparently, the devil knows that by putting all these men in dresses is an abomination unto the Lord. So apparently, the Old Testament is still functional. But, you know, I mean, the devil's a hater. Of course, he's going to try to throw monkey wrenches into everything. And now, this is why these stars initially want to do this. This is why everybody on the planet is doing things, okay? Because of that. Because of money, or what we perceive to be money. Now, I'm going to touch on a topic here, a couple of things. I'm not going to go in too deep, because it's like, <laughs> it's a big giant book on this stuff, and it is just like, it's just too much for this video, so I have to catch up on a separate video. But up on the far left, if you look at it, let me zoom up so we can see. It tells us right here that the silver certificate. This silver this certifies that there is on deposit in the Treasury of the United States of America one dollar in silver payable to the bearer. On demand. This silver, this certificate is legal tender for all debts, public and private. Okay. So, and it was issued in 35. Okay, there we go. Series 1935D. Okay. And we see that the federal, see, it wasn't even federal reserve notes. See, it, it wasn't even the Fed. Yet, they had they hadn't kicked in yet. They still had all the annuit coeptus nobis order seclorum stuff on the back with the you know the same Illuminati pyramid and all that stuff because people didn't break by breaking the dollars down and what all it means. So those of you who don't know already, well, I'm just going to go on over what we all know already. But basically, this is a receipt. There's a receipt for some tangible property in in the possession of the treasury over there in the treasury, and this was the receipt that you would trade around, that you would trade, you know, for this, because you know back in the day it was it was covered by gold and silver because that was the only lawful money. This is before they heisted heisted everybody out of the gold and silver. And now we have what we know today as money, and now there's nothing on it. And in place of silver certificate on the top, it now says Federal Reserve Note. Okay. So now we got basically nothing. It's just a receipt. It's an IOU. That right there is an IOU. IOU one buck. Okay, now we're going to move to the far right, and we're going to see that the new money is basically monopoly money. <laughs> it is monopoly money. It's even colored the same. It's in your face. <laughs> and if you're too stupid and asleep to recognize it well then that's not our fault because we cannot give legal advice isn't that what you, they tell you at the county thing at the thing and you walk up to the county we can't give legal advice all right they can't give legal advice so in essence we are now working with monopoly money that they put in our face now if you really, really wanted to have real money, you can move to this one, which was back in the day. And we'll zoom up to it, and I believe that's 33. Is that 33? I can't read it because it's, it's kind of messed up. This is what's called the United States note. The United States of America, this note is legal tender at its face value for all debts, public and private. We, let's see, the United States note, the United States immigrant will pay to the bearer on demand $5. So this was when, <clears throat> this was when uh, 
Lincoln, well, it was Lincoln that, that I think it was during the war, he issued these, these notes. And then Kennedy wanted to come back and reissue them back, back in the 60s. And I believe if my, you know, I may be incorrect, but I believe this is one of the reasons why they killed Kennedy. I mean, he was already opposing the Illuminati anyway. But uh, there were several things that they were trying to get him to do, and he wasn't, he run really down, even though he was down from before, just because it was generational, and he was part of that bloodline. And then he saw that all the evilness was going on, and then he even made a statement of, you know, secret societies and all that stuff, and he was trying, he was trying to do the right thing. So see, he... In essence, when they murdered him, I believe that, that he, he might have made his peace with our Lord Jesus Christ. Because he found out that it was just horrible what, what these people were doing, you know. So, those artists that are dressing up like women and being abominable to God are doing it for this. They're basically doing it for monopoly money. And they went and signed, off, they went to, went and signed their life away. Because, I mean, they got us anyway, even if you're not an artist. Just do the Social Security number system and just, just do the regular system. Everybody doesn't know that they're slaves to the government, which is against the that's against God's law, but that's a separate video. I'm going to make a video about that later, eventually. If this doesn't, if this one doesn't get flagged and taken off, cause they, they might say something on this one, but we'll see. But... Uh, <laughs> So those stars are selling themselves out and being abominations to God and agreeing to hate God for this, and this is not even real. I mean, I, I had more and more. I can I can sit here and just give you countless page after page of proof, more proof and more proof, and, and you're either going to believe what we're saying or you're going to disbelieve. It's up to you. At the end of the day, oh, okay, on the silver certificate, it didn't have in God we trust. But over here, on the United States of America, on the back of, of the $1 bill, it has in God we trust, one. Hmm, I didn't notice that before. Uh, so basically, you're walking around with uh, IOUs in your pocket. So when people go, come and trying to rob you and they're trying to steal and stuff, they're stealing IOUs. These are little... Uh, debt instruments which will uh, that that goes into a, a different topic i'm not going to get into that here because it's way too intense my final thoughts <laughs> my final thoughts are it's a shame that all these celebrities are you know selling themselves out and being abominations to god over something that is has no value to it i know we need this to, to, as you know a form of barter and trade out here you know for goods and services but there's <laughs> there's things written in the law where you know if you know how to how to get in there you you wouldn't need to to sell your soul in the Bible, I, I didn't pull this up, but in the Bible, it, it says that, that God speaks. It says that my people suffer for lack of knowledge. Well, that's part of one of the reasons why myself and others like me are, are trying to t talk to the people out in the world. I mean, a lot of people know about these things, but a lot of people still don't realize how devious and terrible all this is. I mean, because there's no more men. I mean, it's a straight attack on the family. There's no more families. There's no more strong, heavy, you know, strong uh, father, man, that, you know, with with a wife that knows her position, you know, that, that's not dressed all provocatively and, and, you know, has whore uniforms on, just like Dave Chappelle said, you got a whore uniform on, I can tell you that right now. That was in the Killing Me Softly video toward the end, you know, uh... <laughs> they're, they're coming after our family, they're coming, and specifically, they're coming after our children. You know, you got Jaden Smith, you know, I like wearing dresses. Come on, man. They're pimping them, them, those kids out. The boy's dressing like a girl. The girl's dressing like a boy. It's it's all the disgusting transgender stuff and all the Babylonian stuff that, that they're trying to force down our throats. 
Now these videos are, are just here basically as as heads up, like look man, don't partake of that stuff. Because God is watching. And I'm gonna tell you in one last final thought before I hop off this thing. The free will thing, I don't think you have free will. Now this is my personal opinion and any Bible scholars are more than welcome to come and show me proof that what, what I'm saying is incorrect. But this is just my understanding. And this is my, what I believe today. I don't think we have free will, honestly. I think that's a lie uh, uh, perpetrated by Satan to make us believe that we get to do whatever we want and that, and then we can repent later and that God is going to accept us and um, it, it, it's going to be all, all okay. But in the meantime, you get to just live your life in your way. Well, I beg to differ because <clears throat> There's many passages in the Bible where it states that, Lord, Lord, did we not, you know, cast out devils in your name? Did we not do miracles in your name? And, he, and they're going to come and claim that they did everything in Jesus' name. And Jesus is going to turn to him and say, I never knew you. Depart from me. Which means that, yeah, that might have happened, but they were not true followers of Christ. They, 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 they weren't doing the work they weren't doing the will of of almighty god jesus christ and the holy spirit you know so it was like a false type of thing and what comes to mind joel osteen benny hinn uh white she's not even supposed to be on the pulpit because women are not supposed to usurp the, the authority of a man uh what's the other one the, the joker smile lady what's her face myers joyce myers she not they're not supposed to be on the pulpit and no, I'm not being racist. That's what the Bible says. Because everybody comes at me, well, you know, you're, you're a hater. And, and that's not political. I don't care about what's politically correct. I'm only sp stating what the Bible says. That, that book is for all of us to follow that book. You can't just go and just pick parts of the book and say, well, okay, well, this, this, this works. And then I'm just going to follow that. That doesn't work that way. There's 600 and something commandments in that book. And all of us are violating pieces of it. I think I violated a couple of those commandments in this video <laughs> early on when I was talking negative about those vatos over there. And the only reason I'm, I'm talking and joking around is because on the serious tip, this is quite disturbing. Now, why are, are they making men into women? I mean, you obviously can see that, that Dwayne Johnson is a man. I mean, come on. I don't want to see that vato as a woman. That's... Ugh. But I guess, hey, I guess, you know, he has a right. I mean, it's his life, I guess. But, you know, this is quite disturbing. How they're destroying the family. They're put, putting women above men, which they're not supposed to do. W women are accepting it, which they're not supposed to do. They're putting on pants. They're wearing men's clothes. I just showed you earlier that a woman wearing men's clothes is an abomination. A man wearing a woman's clothes is also abomination. So everything is all twisted anyway this is real talk <clears throat> i'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video i just thought i'd show you guys that uh this is not good and that you know we all as a community of the followers of jesus christ need to actually start to speak out and see what we can do and start telling people about these things because we need to war warn our fellow brothers and sisters out there in the world that may not know or they still may be asleep, and hopefully, we by producing these videos, we can wake up, we can wake them up to the truths and the realities. Because, like I keep saying, God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit—they are not playing. You know, if we're not cool with God, we're going to get burnt up, and and that's not there because, you know, to scare you into complying to God's laws. <laughs> Remember. <laughs> We're germs. And who are we to go and tell our creator that created us and start giving lit? <laughs> you start talking back to God, he's going to burn you up. He's warning us, look, follow my commandments. This is what, you know, what's best for you. I'm doing this because you're my children. If you refuse, it's going to be like the wheat and the tares. You're just going to, I'm just going to consider you a fruitless tree. You're a tear inside of my wheat field. I'm going to gather my wheat, put it in my barn, because it's 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 something that is of substance to him, which is God. 
and I'm gonna and I'm gonna burn up the tares. Burnt up. <laughs> Check that out. The story of the wheat and the tares. I might even make a video on it. I think there's a couple of them floating around on the internet. Anyway, this is real talk. I'm gonna go ahead and hop off this thing. Y'all take this stuff to heart, man, because this God is not playing. And you know, for your motor soul, Jesus Christ is the way. So please think about what we're saying here. Um, may God bless all of you guys, and I'm going to catch up with you guys next time.